Welcome back. Let's talk about reports. A report is simply like, you know, those paper reports that you've seen more than once or very often in your lives. And Access provides easy access to printing or viewing those reports, that information. Uh, again, just like in forums, there are a couple ways to create a report. So I'm going to click on the Create tab. And here you see reports. Yep. Uh, I'm going to do a very simple report. Right now we don't have any reports. We're going to do a very simple report using a report wizard. So just like in forms, very similar. You pick the table or query that you want to see. This time I'm going to pick the video table. And I want to see all the fields. And then you can go ahead and see how you want to do it. I'm going to say, I want these three fields of these. Now you can go ahead and put them in. You can go in. This is what it does is it kind of sorts it out. You can do it that way. Right? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, and then you can go ahead and sort it out by video title, ascending or descending. Ascending is A on the top, Z on the bottom, or descending, which is Z on the top and A on the bottom. Uh, more common is ascending, so I'm going to take that. Uh, if you have some numbers, fields that are number fields or integer fields, you can go ahead and do some calculations. You can sum them in, average it, uh, have the lowest value or the largest value. You can do those kind of things. Yeah. So I'm going to bar, you know, step aside from that. And you can go ahead and see how you want to see your data, portrait or landscape. Adjusted fields ranks so all fields fit on a page. Well, that's if it gets a little bit wider than uh, the paper, you know, so you need to watch that. Later on, you're going to have to adjust that. And next, give it a name. I'm going to call it video table. Yeah. And preview the report and finish. And this is our report. Yeah. Not real pretty. Not real pretty. But, you know, it is using a wizard. Yeah. Once again, wizards are easy. Uh, not necessarily everything that we want. Yeah. So if, if you edit, a wizard, yeah, you, you have here, you can go ahead and edit the field so that it, so right now, if you look at it, right, this field over here simply is cut off. I can go ahead and design view and I can lengthen this field a little bit. So now when I look at it, oh yeah, it looks a little bit better. Okay, well, anyway, that's creating a report using a wizard. Close this, save yes. So now I have a report. Now, the other way of creating a report, again, once again, it's a little tougher, but more versatile and things that you can do with it. So I'm gonna come here and create tab and report design. Again, it's a blank palette. There's a couple of new things that we didn't see with forms, a header and a footer and a detail. So I'm gonna do it on the customer table and I'm gonna bring the fields. Now, just like inside of inside of a form you bring in your fields that you want to see displayed now again once again it's going to look not too pretty so like this is kind of look like this not very pretty yeah but um you can go and adjust it uh using um the design report, report design now the header area is going to appear at the top of every page and a footer is going to appear at the bottom of every page. So say, for example, I want to go ahead and line it up, customer ID, customer first, customer last. Then what I need to do is I have to come here and I want to drag this to the header, but it doesn't allow me to do it. So what I have to do is I have to go and cut it, right? So again, you can come to the home page, you can cut, or you can do a control X. Then I click in the pager area, then I control V or paste, and there it is. Now I'm gonna line up my customer right underneath of it, just like this for now. Once again, I click here and I cut it. So I come here and I paste it. It's gonna look a little weird, so I'm gonna have to move it on the side, just like this, move my customer name. Yeah. And one, one, more, one more thing, so I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna paste it up here. Again, it's gonna look a little weird, but you have to go and line it up. Okay, now, it's still not real pretty, but let's see what we got. 
So it has the customer ID, first name, last name, right? Okay, let's go continue working with this. Now you see there's this big area, right? So what you want to do is you want to go and line up. So each, however big this area is, will be one record. So I'm going to move it up a little bit closer. Yeah, so you know, it's doing that way like this, yeah. And then I'm going to look at it again. Oh, look, now it's starting to line up. Yeah. Uh, still not pretty yet, but what I can do is I can, again, I can uh, shift key and select all of these guys over here, and I can arrange and I can align to the top so they all kind of line up like this. Um, I can, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, equal horizontally if I wanted to, like this, you know. Um, so, you know, that may or may not work. I'm going to widen my fields so that I can go ahead and see, make sure I see everything. And then I come again and I like to see, let's go and see what it looks like. I come to the home tab. Oh, it's starting to look better. Now these things like boxes, you know, you can take them off if you wanted to. Once again, there's this thing called a property sheet over here, yeah. So I can come here and I'll select all of them. And I come to the property sheet. And I say, this is border style. Well, you know, I don't want any transparent. So let's go and see what happens when I do it that way. Oh, look, it's taken off, yeah. So, you know, that's, you know, creating a report. Now, once again, you know, you can go ahead and put in a header that appears at the top of the page or a footer. And in the footer, say, for example, I click here and I say, I want a date and time. Yeah, so I click here. And now I got, you know, I, I have date and time. Right? This is a report header. I can kind of cut this guy. I'm going to cut it and put it in my page footer here. And I can cut this guy and put it in my page footer over here, and again, it looks kind of weird. So let's go and see what it looks like. So now I have, you know, date and time. If I wanted to, I can put those kind of things. You can make it pretty. You can put in a title over here. I can click here and I'm going to type in, this is um, my rentals, or oh, sorry, customers, customer, like this. And now when I look at it, now it says customers up here. So this is a report. Now again, it's, it's not real pretty, and you know you could do a lot more things with a report, um, but you know this is creating a report using the report design. Once again, we did we did it this way, report design. Yeah, and I'm going to save this. And I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to take this customer, customer report, yeah. customer. Report. And now I have a couple of customers and three forms, customer reports and three forms and a query, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. 